Hello and welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and welcome to the showdown between the Breville Barista Pro and the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte Evo. here at our new location in Etobicoke at 130 North Queen filming in our new studio. As you can see here, it's beautiful, it's shiny, it's new. We love it. It's not complete yet, um, but it is where we will be filming our videos going forward. You'll see us in Burlington occasionally, but we'll primarily be filming out of here. So stay tuned for more videos with this beautiful studio in the background. The DeLonghi La Specialista Arte Evo versus the Breville Barista Pro. So these are two semi-automatic espresso machines. Um, the main reason that they are such great competitors is their steaming wand capabilities. Both of these machines have super powerful steam wands and they are great for the person that is looking to do some either latte art or is looking to perfect, well, yeah, perfect their latte art skills. The Breville Barista Pro is going to offer more in terms of espresso capabilities. You have a more precise grinder, you have more grind settings, and you have the LCD display screen here. On the Breville Barista Pro, you've got a 54 millimeter portafilter. So you have, it's slightly larger than the DeLonghi. The DeLonghi is going to have eight grind settings with a 51 millimeter portafilter. Both of these machines can pull beautiful espresso, but you do have more room to dial in on the Barista Pro. We're gonna make a few beverages with this machine, but the thing I really wanna highlight is the steam wand, and we're going to compare those capabilities. Both of these machines are for the person that is a milk drinker. It just kind of depends on how much you wanna play with your espresso, how much you wanna dial in, because with the Barista Pro, you will spend more time dialing in your espresso. I just did. I spent about 10 minutes dialing in the Barista Pro and the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte Evo. <sighs> it took only about like one minute. I pulled two shots on it and it was perfect. So um, let's get brewing some espresso and then we're, we'll kind of talk more about the specs as we go through, through the process here. Okay, hey, so I have my Breville Barista Pro is dialed in. I have my 54 millimeter portafilter just sitting in the portafilter holder there. I'm just gonna press it in and it's going to start to grind. On the Breville Barista Pro, you have your grind selection size on the side and your dose amount on the front. So the machine will grind at the grind size it's programmed to that we've set it to and the amount that we set it to as well. And that does it in seconds. So I'm gonna remove my portafilter now. So it's mounting over a little bit, but that's good. You want it to be mounting over. If it's not, then you definitely don't have enough coffee in there. So this is just air in here that's making it look a lot larger than it is. So just scrunching it into the middle here, tapping out all that excess air. Getting my new countertop dirty here too. Oh, beautiful. So the thought behind having a little bit of a larger portafilter is that you have better distribution of your coffee and esp or espresso grinds within the portafilter so it doesn't have as much vertical space to go through. Um, you're supposed to be able to get a more even extraction but you are able to get a really beautiful shot out of a 51 millimeter portafilter as well. So we're gonna pour a double shot. I dosed for a double shot. I'm gonna press my double shot button. You'll notice it's going to start to count for us. And you do want your double to pour in about 25 to 31 seconds. So around the 30 second mark is ideal. Pre-infusion should end around eight to 10 seconds. So it looks like we're right on the money there. Oh yeah, that looks like a nice shot. Cool. So we poured for 24 seconds, but the espresso looked like it poured well. 
It doesn't smell under extracted. It smells very even as well. So I'm going to leave it. If I wanted to be even more precise, what I would do next is just pull another shot and see how that one pours. If it does better, then I'm going to leave it. But you don't wanna to make too many changes at once. Otherwise, you can really mess yourself up. Pour my espresso in here. Okay. Nice big glass today. So the Breville Barista Pro has a thermoblock heating system. It is actually the Thermojet heating system from Breville, so it heats up in about three seconds. My knob to activate my steam wand is located just on the side. If I turn it towards me when I'm facing the machine, it's going to start to activate the steam wand. You can see the water is kind of coming out right now, and then we have steam. I'm gonna turn the steam wand back off and get myself ready to steam. So the tip of my steam wand is on the surface of the milk. I'm going to just turn the knob forward and that's going to start to steam. So the Barista Pro was a big, big step up from the Barista Express in terms of its steaming capabilities. The steam wand is powerful and fast and you're able to achieve a microphone with ease. You're able to get a vortex going with ease. My milk is spinning around nicely. Heats up very quickly. Okay. I'm just going to turn the dial back to standby, back to center. Yeah, that's some really, really beautiful milk. Hey, if you can see here, it looks like wet paint, which is exactly what you want. This glass might be a little big for my milk, but that's okay. Okay, beautiful. It's a big old latte. It's delicious. Um, I've always loved the steam one from on the Barista Pro. Like I said, it's easy to achieve a beautiful micro foam. Even though it is more powerful, you're going to be able to get the results you want to get easier than if you have a steam wand that's maybe a little less powerful, um, something that you need to play with a little bit. So it, it might take a little bit getting used to how powerful the steam wand is, but you're going to be able to get the results you want to get a little bit faster. Let's just have a look at the front of the Barista Pro here because we don't have the same beverages programmed on these two machines. On the Barista Pro, you're going to have your single shot, double shot, that's it. You have a knob for your hot water here, so the hot water spout. The knob that activates your steam wand is the same knob that activates the hot water spout. So if you turn it backwards or away from you, the hot water is going to dispense and it comes out right behind the group head. So it's gonna flow right into your mug, which is nice and easy. You don't have to move the mug anywhere. And it'll stop pouring after um, these, the ounces that it puts out, which is I think about eight or 10 ounces. So you only have Two beverages programmed, single shot, double shot. You can program the strength, sorry, you can program the length of those beverages as well, the water output. So if you wanted one to be more of like a long espresso and one to be more of like a ristretto, you can program those um, volumetrically. You can also program the uh, temperature settings in this machine too. It's like a low, medium, high setting um, and that will affect how the espresso extracts. So a lower temperature, is going to give you less ex extraction. A higher temperature will give you a, a more extraction. So just keep that in mind when you're programming your machine. All right, we're gonna head over to the DeLonghi La Specialista Arte Evo now. Uh, this machine is already dialed in and let's first have a look at, we'll touch on the programmed beverages. I've, I've touched on them a few times uh, before, but we're going to touch on them again because it's of course different. So on this machine, our program beverages are espresso, Americano, 
and cold brew. We also have a hot water function on this machine too. So you're able to brew a single shot or a double shot, um, but this machine also has that cold brew function. So I'll say it again. If you are a, a cold brew drinker, this is the machine for you. It does not put out like cold espresso. It tastes like iced coffee. It's really cool, um, the technology that they use to be able to create that. Also notice this machine, it does have the dial. So that is going to be how we measure how our espresso is extracting. If you get up into the optimal zone, then you know you should have a good espresso shot. Not a hard and fast rule about where the needle needs to land within the optimal zone. That's going to be, again, based on your taste preferences and all of that good stuff. I know for me, anywhere from 12 o'clock over to about one or two o'clock, I'm good. Um, but also watching the espresso pour is how you know that you're dialed in or not. So this machine is dialed in. I did take a couple of minutes to do that before we started filming. The DeLongula Specialista Arte Evo, it's such a mouthful of a name, comes with your little accessory set. So you get a funnel with the machine, you get your tamper, and you get your tamping station as well. So this kind of sits everything nicely. Um, it's a great little accessory set. Usually you have to purchase all of this stuff extra, not the tamper, but like the station. To activate the grinder, you do it the same way. You just press the portafilter in, hit the switch on the back. So you'll notice here we're pretty um, low on the grind setting. You don't have a lot of room to play with. That's one of the cons of having so little grind sizes, is that you probably will, for the most part, be on the finer settings of your grinder to be able to get a good shot. So I take my funnel off so I can see what I'm doing and tamping. You only have eight grind sizes to play with, whereas on the Barista Pro you have 32. So you have a lot more room to dial that espresso in and get it absolutely perfect. The Les Specialista, um, with eight grind sizes, less room for error, but less room for improvement. So something to keep in mind. Okay, so on the Les Specialista, you have a dial here that indicates which uh, beverage you're going to be brewing. Whichever one is illuminated, is the one you're going to brew. So we're gonna make sure that we're on espresso and we are, which is great. I got my little cup under there. All I need to do now is click OK and we're going to start to pour. So we're going to watch the needle rise all the way up. Great. That looks like an awesome shot. If you're not following us on any of our social media channels, minus in, including this one, um, you'll wanna check them out. Follow us on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. We're all over the place. We have a lot of information out there in terms of like long form videos put into bite sized pieces so you can get it in kind of a 60 second clip instead. Um, ECS Coffee is all of our handles, so follow us there. And our espresso is done. That looks like a really perfect shot. So just because you have a small amount of grind sizes does not mean that you can't get a wonderful, wonderful espresso. Okay, so now we're gonna steam some milk. On the La Specialista, it is just a little button that activates the steaming instead of a knob. I kind of like that. I find it very um, simple. Just click and it's going. We're just gonna do a purge first, let out a little bit of the steam before we start to steam our milk. All right, so it's time to steam.
So the Barista Pro Steam Wand is definitely a little bit more mobile than the DeLonghi. But you're able to achieve the same results. I think that the DeLonghi Steam Wand is slightly more powerful. I'm able to get a much more movable vortex going. Oh, and that's really hot. All right. Yeah, that was awesome. Okay, so this milk also looks like wet paint, which is perfect and exactly what we want. Pour that in. So the Breville's definitely had like more milk. I, I, it has a bigger pitcher. So I was able to steam more milk in the Breville, but still delicious. Um, the espresso from the Breville's was more flavorful though. It, it had a stronger coffee flavor, even though it had more milk. Hmm, but both. they're both delicious though. Okay, so let's break it down a little bit. Barista Pro is going to be for the person that wants total control over all aspects of their espresso. You have 32 grind sizes, a larger portafilter size, and the professional style steam wand. This is an awesome steam wand. This machine is for the at-home barista that wants to spend time dialing in the espresso and spend time making latte art and steaming their milk to perfection. Um, the grinder that is in this machine is very powerful. It's very precise. So you're going to be super satisfied with it. It comes with a two year warranty through Breville and it has a two liter water tank. This machine also comes in a number of different colors so it can match your kitchen. Um, you can still make iced beverages on this machine if you're concerned about that. You just pour the espresso over some ice and add either cold water or cold milk and then you'll have your iced latte or iced Americano. Uh, we know people are loving the iced beverages even in the cold, cold weather right now. So something to look out for. Um, I really love this machine, but it is for the at-home barista. It is still an entry-level machine. So if you're new to the espresso world, but you wanna get to the barista level, then this is a really fantastic option. The price point is around 1200, but keep your eye out for some sales because you know, sales happen. They come on and off sale all the time. Um, love this machine. Cleaning wise, you'll need to do the cleaning about, descaling about every six months or so. Flushing cycle or cleaning cycle, you'll need to do every three to six months, depending on your usage. Um, and it comes with everything you need. So you'll get your, Porta filter, milk pitcher, everything. You're golden. Uh, about a 240 or 50 gram bean hopper up top and the bean hopper is removable with the beans inside. So if you add beans to the hopper, you hate them, you can remove it all, dump it out and add beans that you actually like. On the DeLonghi, La Specialista Arte Evo, you also get everything that you need with the um, machine. So mentioned the little accessories kit that it comes with, Porta filter, milk pitcher. Also around a two liter water reservoir. Um, I believe the bean hopper is around the 200 to 220 gram mark for beans. So it's a little bit smaller, but still a good amount of beans. Uh, you don't want your beans sitting in the hopper for too long. You have more programmed beverages. So you have more one touch options. So you have one touch Americano, one touch cold brew, and it's true cold brew. It's not your just kind of makeshift ice espresso over ice. The steam wands are completely comparable. So if you're somebody that is new to steaming milk, both of these wands are going to give you exactly what you're looking for. If you're a milk or like a latte snob and you're super precise and exact about your milk and how you like it, either machine will be for you. It comes down to the coffee portion, the espresso portion. How much dialing in do you want to do? With the Brewster Pro, there will be more involved. With the list, especially, so there's going to be less because you have less options. That's just the way that it is. Uh, list, especially, is a tad bit smaller as well. And it only comes in the one color, the stainless steel, but it's super cute. 
You definitely have more of a retro feel with the La Specialista. Um, and the price point for this guy is around 1,050. And both of those prices are in Canadian dollars as well. Warranty on the La Specialista is a two plus one year warranty. So you get an extra year and you register it online on DeLonghi's website. And we're a service center for DeLonghi under warranty. So keep that in mind if you want to purchase from us. Um, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys. We hope you enjoyed this video and let us know down in the comments which machine is for you. Uh, if you have a, an espresso drinker that you're shopping for this holiday season, either of these machines would be on their bucket list for sure, on their wish list, a thousand percent, and you would be their favorite person if you purchased it for them as well. <laughs> See you next time guys, cheers.